Hey everyone, Paul from Oz IP Services. Today we're going to create a Facebook fan page cover image and profile image. Since late March, Facebook changed the layout of all fan pages to the new timeline layout. This has given us much more room for creativity and wow factor on our Facebook fan pages. The ability to add a large eye-catching cover image to our fan page helps us engage our visitors in ways we haven't been able to before. Originally the image was 125 pixels square. But over the last few days, Facebook have made a change and the profile picture is now 160 pixels square. Now let's have a look at what I'm talking about. Here we have the Ford Motor Company's Facebook fan page. This looked really awesome until about two days ago as the profile picture here was designed for the 125 pixel original layout. As we know, it's changed to 160 pixels now and it has actually broken the layout and destroyed it a little bit. All of these Flagpoles, etc., did line up and it did look quite effective. Similarly, one of my pages, my GoPro, looked really good last night until this morning and now 160 pixels, it's now broken. Here's one I modified this morning. This now is to suit the new 160 pixel layer and looks quite effective. You may be thinking that creating an image like this must be quite difficult, having to mesh together two different images to line up just perfectly. Well, it actually is, but what we've done is created a nice Photoshop template with all layout guides and margins ready just to dump your images in, copy and paste, and create these two images that will mesh together perfectly. Here is the image you see on the top of the Facebook page for Earth, Wind & Water. This is the one we created before slicing it up and creating two individual images. Looking at this, you might be thinking that's quite a large image. It is actually double the size Facebook requires for their cover page and profile pic. Profile picture has to be 851 pixels wide and 315 pixels high. Facebook will not let you upload anything smaller than 399 pixels wide. So you're best designing your image, your cover banner and your profile pic the perfect size for Facebook so it can't go and resize and stretch and destroy your layout. The reason we've made it double the size is because Facebook actually goes and down samples the JPEG images and lowers the compression, making them much more pixelated and a little bit grainy. Now this, for the main picture, doesn't make a lot of difference, but for the logo, it can really destroy the look of the logo. So what we've done is we've actually made the canvas size 1702 wide, which is double our 851, and 762 high. You may be wondering how we got to our 762 pixels high. What we've done is double the image size of 851 times 315 is that area there. 1702 wide, 630 pixels high. The bottom area here is where your profile picture drops out below the actual cover image in Facebook, as you can see just here. Now what we'll do as an example and a tutorial is we'll go across to our blank template just here and create a new Facebook fan cover image to rectify the problems that were caused when Facebook changed it to 160 pixels and therefore destroyed the look of our Facebook cover page banner here on my GoPro. What we'll do is I'll drag in our background image for the cover picture. Just wait a second for that to load. We'll resize that, holding shift clicking on the uh, top corner there and drag out the size we actually want. We'll just take a rough guess at the moment. And I think that's going to look pretty good there. Now you do have to remember that this bottom line here, this guide is the bottom of our cover picture. So you want to keep the, uh, the image nice and centered so that it actually will look good when we trim off that bottom area. And I'm pretty happy with that there. Now what we'll do is we'll drag in the logo, scale that up, drag that into position. Hit enter to place it. Now I might actually move that across to the right a little bit because if we zoom in, as you'll see here, we have this 10 pixel, which will end up being 5 pixels when we halve everything, that is the border around the Facebook profile picture 
that trims out of the photo. So effectively, that area there will end up white space. So I might just move that across to the right a little bit so that our white space ends up between those two letters there and leaves the tail on the G in the actual image. Now we'll scroll across and make sure that we've got all the rest of the logo in place, which we do, and zoom out. I'm happy with that. Now we're ready to go and slice this up, ready for uploading to Facebook. What we'll do is we'll select the marquee tool, and initially we're going to go and highlight our cover image. Now that's highlighted, we'll go over here and we're going to select both of the layers that contain the background image and the logo. Then we go to Edit, Copy Merged. Now that will go and copy the contents of both layers. We'll press Control N for a new document, and we will Control V, we will paste the image in there. There's our cover picture. Now we're going to go File, Save for Web. We're going to change this one down to 851 pixels by 315 high. We're going to make sure the quality is at 100%. Facebook is going to downsample that to a quality of 80, but we'll let Facebook do that. No good sending it up there at 80, and just in case they lower it even further. We'll go Save, and we're going to call that My GoPro Cover. That one's done. Step two. We're going to select our profile pic. Highlight that. Photoshop will snap to those guides. And as you see, we're 320 by 320 pixels, which is exactly what we're after. We are now going to make sure that we've selected both the layers, which are. Then go Edit, Copy Merged, Control M for a new document. Control V for paste. That one's done. We're going to file, save for web again. Now we're not going to change this image down to 160 pixels, which is the size Facebook wants. They will not let us upload an image for a profile pic unless it's 180 pixels wide to start with. And we want to make it so that Facebook will scale and, sh and, and shrink this image down to size, which will therefore enhance the quality even though they have dropped it back to a compression of 80. So we're going to save this image and we're going to call this My GoPro Profile. We'll save that. Now we'll go across to Facebook, we'll upload these images and see how they look. We'll select our My GoPro page. Initially we're going to say change cover image and upload photo. Here's our file, My GoPro Cover. We'll double click on that. Facebook will upload the image, downsample it, and then prompt us to drag to reposition the cover. This won't do anything for us because the cover is actually the perfect size for Facebook's position. So we will just say Save Changes. That has now placed that. Now we will go and edit the profile picture. Upload photo, and we're going to select GoPro Profile. There we go. We have a perfectly positioned profile picture and background cover image for the mygopro.com Facebook fan page. We're going to make this Photoshop template available for free download over at www. Ozip, which is ausip.net.au. But to make things easier, if you look down in the description below this video, we'll have a link directing you straight across to the blog post that contains the download link to download this Photoshop template. And then you can go over and create your own Facebook cover images and profile pictures.